Assalamu alaikum. <coughs> First of all, I'm going to explain uh, a little bit about borders. Now, when you're creating borders, the best thing to do is to get all your pieces together and to assemble them, uh, lay them out flat first and try and work out a formulate a plan on how you're going to attach which piece it goes looks best with which now it's a bit pointless me advising you on what piece to attach to what because sometimes when you put the pieces together they don't actually look as nice as what you may have envisaged so it's better to do it you know um, looking wise physically rather than you know um, putting them together and then realizing oh god that doesn't look right with this so what i did with these was um, i've added a little bit of a extra to this now this pink lace wasn't there that just had like a pink um fabric that was attached and I didn't want to attach the fabric because the lace that I'm using here is the lace that I will be using around the scarf because the scarf is actually plain so because I want to use that lace with the scarf uh, I decided on uh, using that lace uh, sort of a little bit on the dress as well so uh, the lace what I did was this was the original piece that came and then the lace I just placed on top of that original piece stitched over it and then the fa spare fabric from the leftover from the silver I placed that underneath and again stitched that pressed it all and turned that over so that it created uh, you know this is the extension that's going to go on the underside of the kameez itself uh, now for the back again I've used the pink uh, to go with that now I didn't have enough of the blue to go on the back as well so I've used the lined strip just to give uh, the back a little bit of a definition as well and then I've created the exact same thing uh, on the sleeve as well I've used several uh, different pieces uh, this one I had left over from uh, what I'd taken out from the neckline it's got the little bit of embroidery which blends it in with the dress the lace from uh, the kameez border uh, this was the extension that was supplied and then this was also supplied so that's how I've combined them and then I added an extra piece to give the length to the sleeve. So all the laces have been combined on top of it. There's no irritable or any bits left over or threads overhanging because you lose the beauty of the laces if you've got all the threads of the laces. Also, they're a little bit irritating when they're on the sleeves unless there is a fabric underneath. Just a thing to bear in mind, if you're using laces which have lots of sequins and stuff, be careful on using them, them on the sleeves because sometimes this part of the sleeve rubs against the part of the dress and tends to ruin the dress itself so if there's laces which have uh, sticky bits on them uh, which are going to damage your dress then be weary of them and try not to use them on a sleeve also it becomes quite irritating especially when it rubs against your skin so always be careful to use a little bit of a fabric underneath that so that it's not rubbing against your skin uh, anything that I notice and I find uncomfortable, I don't think it's worth uh, spending so much time and effort on something which is later going to cause you problems. So I try and eliminate that and eradicate that from, you know, advising people on it and also using it myself. Now there are a couple of things that I find very irritating and that is... Uh, Obviously, we wash uh, several times a day uh, for any Muslim, you know, that's one of the obligations uh, of a prayer that you have to pre-wash before um, reading your prayer. Now, with tight sleeves, one of the problems that I find is putting the sleeve up past your elbow for washing purposes and I find that very irritating and uh, so I tend to either have buttons with my sleeves or I'll have looser sleeves because <coughs> it's quite inconvenient to keep going to the bathroom and to have to take your dress off in order to wash your arms I think it defeats the purpose so we have to bear that in mind any sleeves that you make make sure that they easily go over your elbow part so if you like fitted sleeves then be weary of that and uh, try and button them in such a way I've had some outfits which the tailors have made now I requested to have buttons put on my sleeves because I like tight fitting sleeves but 
then they have to have buttons so that I can easily open the button and uh, put the um, sleeve over my elbow. Now what they did was they put the sleeve on, uh, they put the button on at the front, but sadly here they've left the sleeve, you know, fairly tight so it still won't go up above the elbow. So it's defeated the purpose and I've had to reopen them and uh, redo them myself. Now I wanted to take that into practice. Now on this sleeve I've combined the borders and I've attached uh, the border on and then I've turned it over, over stitched it around here and neatened it off, pressed it and so on. Uh, I've also put attached loops because I want to button these sleeves with the loop loop uh, buttons rather than having snap fasteners I'm going to go for the loops they're going to look attractive and it's also going to serve the purpose so after doing that I've attached uh, the loops on and after attaching the loops on I'm better off just showing you on this what I've done is uh, basically turned a little bit of that fabric over and where the embroidery ends I've started from there taken it all the way to the other end uh, leave it a little bit quite a bit overlapped and then turn that back on itself and stitch over it so on both the sides you've got a folded piece over and then that's just going to get get turned over and uh, double sided off again on the other side with the other you know, fabric uh, and I've used the uh, edging so that it doesn't create a double turn because I want to avoid having so many excess fabrics. So again, leave a little bit of excess, stitch along, turn that excess over, stitch to the end and leave it. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to take that over and this one, a little bit about uh, half an inch away from the, the seam, I'm going to stitch that a half an inch away from the seam but on the bottom side I'm going to stitch it right up to the seam and run a seam going all the way to the underarm so if we turn this over I'll just explain what it is that I'm talking about so what you have is uh, this is the side where the sleeve will be the upper part of it and this is the underside so I've left a, like half an inch of excess so that when the sleeve overlap the bottom portion of this is covered by the overlap of the sleeve so the loop side is going to cover the bottom side of this where the sleeve won't be shown so once you get to that stage and you do that seam overlock this and finish it off and uh, then turn over after you've overlocked this turn over and press into place so once pressed this should look like this this is going towards uh, the back of the sleeve and here we're going to add the buttons and when this uh, sleeve is worn the overlapping is going to be covering any fabric uh, that's on the underside so it's not going to have any gaping and anyway that's on the back of the sleeve so when one when that's worn this is the front of it it's basically going to look like this and that side this is where your sleeves are going to hang and that's the kind of fitted sleeve that you'll get and also you'll have the benefit of pushing that easily above your elbow so there we are that's a very nice fitted sleeve it's going to look gorgeous it's going to look very fashionable that's where the buttons are going to go and that's how you make it anyway having done that we're going to go back to the dress now Okay, so the dress I finished off. Uh, <clears throat> I fitted it out, um, turned it over, tried it on, and once the fitting is all perfect, then you need to overlock, trim away any excess threads. If it needs a slightly deeper cut on the uh, arm, then by all means do that as well. And then you get your ready prepared sleeves. Now this, remember that the cut side, this is the front of the sleeve. So this part of the sleeve is going to attach towards this side. And we're going to push the sleeve into the dress. And we're going to measure to make sure that the sleeve fits. Now earlier on in the video I was saying that part of this job fitting the sleeve is to do with the cut of the sleeve and part of it is to do with the stitching. Now when you're stitching this the dress fabric is underneath and the sleeve fabric is on top and what you got to bear in mind is you've got to ease this. So 
even though the bottom part is slightly stretched this has got to come on so eased that you know you've got to fit that part of the sleeve inside now the sleeve may have looked a little bit bigger and the armhole looked a bit smaller but if you do it there's almost if you can see there's almost that much gaping but i'm going to fit that gaping into the sleeve itself and you know what there's absolutely no way why that sleeve should not meet now that's got a crease mark and that crease mark should fit to the line of the shoulder so if you measure it along and don't worry you know try and try and ease as much as the sleeve especially around the back if you've got any if you're working towards the back side make sure to ease it all into the back you know if you've had any problems so if you work on the one side of the sleeve you'll sort of get an idea of what you're doing on the other side of the sleeve and you're following the exact same procedure on the other sleeve so we're going to get to that stage and we're going to attach the sleeve on and then we've just got the borders to attach on now the border i've tried the camis on and i'm happy with the length of it now with my borders there was a slight bit of a problem and that was that uh, the one border is slightly wider than the other so when i go to fitting these onto the dress i've got to bear that in mind so i'm going to attach the one on and then i'm going to fix the other one so that that is exactly the same as so i'm not going to pre-cut i'm just going to cut the one side uh, I'm, i need to take some of this so i'm going to do the uh, front one first and uh, basically what i need is i need the border I need the dress slightly longer than what it currently is okay so if this is going to get attached up to about here what I need to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this away because otherwise it's going to create difficult of difficulty for me when attaching this so we're going to take we're going to take perhaps some of this line it off and get it off equally so with this border okay so when it comes to attaching this now i'm going to attach this this i'm going to attach slightly higher so when i turn this over uh, that uh, this bottom portion will cover the underside of this I'll, I'll explain this i'm going to finish the rest of it i'm going to probably take the camera to the machine and just explain what it is that i'm talking or maybe attach this and bring it back and just show you exactly what i mean <laughs> 